Good morning, everybody. Uh, as you know that every Saturday morning we do the Big R Solution Sports Program. And then you know that uh, last week we we're talking, I mean, during the week on Tuesday, we we're talking about the PSL arbitration. So we still want to unpack that and see how far is the case. And uh, as you remember that we had uh, Advocate Mahantul unpacking for us, looking at the legality. And then, uh, so today we'll see where the matter is and give us more information as far as what is happening. As you know that my name is the Sobre Boys, or the Fatsi from the Big R. I'm together with Ntwentle, Jacob Sinemans. Jake, welcome to the show. Thank you very much, my brother. Thank you very much. Uh, welcome to, to uh, Advocate. And uh, thank you for, for logging in as well, uh, the, uh, the viewers at home mm. and the listeners. We are here once more, uh, coming to share all the good news for you. Thank you very much, Mr. Tao. Let me come back to you quickly. Okay. Advocate, uh, I think you are so impressive on Tuesday to a point whereby Jake you are saying to me, hey man, I need to consult with Advocate. <laughs> oh, now, 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 now you've got a client. You've got a client, a client on the spot. <laughs> advocate, uh, welcome to the show. May you greet the viewers. And yeah, thank you. Might good as morning. Well, you might as well tell us what's happening. Yeah, uh, good viewers. morning to the viewers and, and thank you for, for inviting me once again. Uh, it's a privilege. Um, and look, uh, uh, I'm happy to hear the feedback that you are teaching, you know, to say that uh, it was positive and that mm. people at least got some insight in terms of the issues that are currently prevalent uh, within, within the fraternity of football uh, in the country. Mm. Uh, I think, uh, uh, as you have already requested, let me just briefly indicate where the process is. I think you'll recall that Previously, uh, the main issue for discussion in the previous morning was the fact that there was a decision that was issued emanating from the PSL disciplinary committee. That committee sometimes is referred to as a judicial tribunal within the auspices of the PSL. So if you recall last week, we indicated that there was an award that was issued from that tribunal to the effect that that award docked Pulukwani City three points in favor of Sikukuni United. So which means the three points that were docked from uh, Pulukwani City were awarded to Sikukuni. And that resulted in another team, which is not necessarily part of the dispute, being promoted or, or facing a situation where they are likely to be promoted. Let me correct myself in that regard because the PSL has not as yet confirmed the championship for this current season. Now, here is what is happening currently. The Sikukuni United have lodged an agent application with the High Court requesting the High Court to make an order that that award that was issued by the PSL Disciplinary Committee should be deemed to be final and binding. That is Sikukuni United's case that is currently pending in the High Court and that case has been referred on an urgent basis. On the other hand, you have Pulukwani City who have also approached the High Court. And Pulukwani City scribe is that they are requesting the High Court to set aside the arbitration award that was made by the PSL Disciplinary Committee to the effect that they have been docked the three points. So there's a contestation from both Kukuni and Pulukwani City. Now here is what is interesting. The PSL, in fact, uh, are somehow supporting the application that has been made by Polokwane City. 
for that arbitration award to be set aside. Mm, 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 mm. Now, in the, in the meantime, you, you, you should recall that after the decision of the disciplinary committee was, 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 was issued, the PSL itself, the exco of the PSL met, and then they then decided that because they are unhappy with the decision of the tribunal, they would refer it in terms of the provisions of the handbook for an appeal process to SAFA, basically. Now you have a dispute having been lodged by Sikukuni. In the High Court, you have another dispute that has been lodged by Polokwane City. You have this pending appeal that has been lodged by the PSL through to SAFA. It's a conundrum. Now, I have had an opportunity to to, to, to look at the handbook, the PSL handbook. And I just want to read the applicable provisions for the benefit of the viewers. If you look at the clause 24 of the, the, that particular handbook, it states, and I quote 24.1, it says that appeals against decisions of the judicial tribunal, save where the dispute resolution chamber arbitrates disputes, which will in the event of an appeal be referred directly to the SAFA arbitration tribunal, will be regulated by the SAFA and FIFA regulations. Now, what that means is that if there's any dissatisfaction about a decision emanating from the tribunal, that decision has to be escalated through two SAFA in terms of the SAFA regulations and also in terms of the FIFA regulations. Now, you have this situation now where the, the parties such as Sikukuni as well as Pulukwani have referred their matters to the High Court. Now, that is not provided for within the handbook in terms of how appeal proceedings should be handled. You know? Now, that now, same appeal uh, provision... Advocate, I'm yeah. sorry, man, to cut you short. I just want a bit of clarity, especially yeah. on the court matter. Yeah. So Kukune took the matter to high court. Yes. And also the other team took the matter to the high court. That is correct. What I would like to know from you legally, is it permissible that while the other matter is still in high court and then the other matter can be filed too. Is that possible? You see, uh, I think you're happen? asking, you, you're asking a very, very, very pertinent question. Mm. Then, let's start it here. The matter is still pending at SAF. Mm. I think that's where we need to start. Mm. Because remember the PSL Expo escalated it through to SAFA. Mm. for SAFA to make a determination in respect of the award. Mm. Now, those internal processes have not as yet been exhausted. Okay, okay. Now, then you will find a situation now where Sikukuni and Polokwane City are escalating their matters through to the courts. Now, ask yourself this question. Do the provisions of the handbook, mm. you know, uh, 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 accord them? Mm. that kind of a recourse mm. that they can go to court when they are, you know, they, they are inbuilt in-house mm. mm. measures mm. to deal with matters related to disputes yeah. emanating from that particular fraternity. Now, here's the other issue that is related to the question that you have posed. Mm. Remember, this matter uh, emanates from the same dispute. Mm i.e. the docking of the points and the awarding of the points. Mm. Now, we find ourselves in a situation where you have two different matters having been referred to two different courts emanating from the same district. Mm. So that's an anomaly. And I know maybe I might guess that maybe the lawyers that are representing both parties, they will look at this and see if maybe they can move for the consolidation of these disputes or the joinder of the disputes. Mm. Yeah, but because the issue that the courts are being asked to deal with is the same issue. So you can't have one court 
dealing with the Sikukuni, and then another court dealing with the, the Polokwa. Mm. But now, what are the ramifications of these parties referring matters to the courts? When, All right. Before you go yeah. there, okay. Yeah. Now, the other thing that I want to know, where the matters refer to the same courts or two different courts. I know high courts. Polokwane. Yeah, both, uh, both high courts, but same jurisdiction. That's the question that I want to know. Look, uh, Polokwane has referred to, I mean, I'm, I'm, for sure, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely sure that Kukune have referred to the Johannesburg High Court. Okay. Uh, I'm not particularly sure where Polokwane City referred their dispute, but I can assure you that from what I have gathered so far, yeah, it looks like they have referred it to a different court, you know, but at the same same level, which is a high court in any way, yeah. you know, it yeah. might be the Pretoria High Court, it might be the Western Cape High Court or the High Court in Bulukwa. Yeah, but I sense that it's not the same high court in Johannesburg where Sikukuni have referred theirs. Okay. Hence, I'm saying the best way of dealing with these disputes is yeah. to consolidate or to join issue, you know, and uh, so that you have a single court dealing okay. with this particular matter. Now let's come here. E, e, well, because you partly have answered what I wanted to ask. I wanted to understand the presiding officers of both different courts. How are they going to treat the different matters in different courts? Because logically speaking, it has to go to, it has to be consolidated. Because I can imagine it can be some kind of uh, abnormality whereby another court will come with this determination, especially if the determination are not the same. And remember the decision of the high court, they said precedent. So my question was going to be, which is going to set up a precedent? Although looking at this case, you have already answered it by saying, but I'll allow you to continue to finish it. They have not yet exhausted the internal uh, process. I think that back by both courts. Logically, it has to be like that. But I wanted to get clarity. Is it possible for the two courts at the same level to deal with the case in a different approach from a similar source? But two courts. But we have already. Yeah. It can be. Contested. Yeah. Look. Yeah. Look. Look. Uh, remember, uh, for any party to refer a dispute to a court, they refer it because they are entitled by law mm. to approach the courts mm. if they are unhappy. You know. Mm. So we can't fault Sikukuni and Polukwan for having referred these matters to court and to different courts, you know? But I think this issue is likely to arise because remember you deal with legal practitioners and they understand these issues to say, but this court is dealing with a matter which is pending in another court. And the law is clear that once you find yourself in that situation, the, 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 the logical thing to do is to consolidate. And uh, I, I, I can maybe guess to say, maybe parties might make an application to say the courts must join these disputes, or one party might raise an issue to say there's a misjoinder because there's another party that is likely to be affected, which is not part of the proceedings. Mm. You know, so I think those are the preliminary issues that have to be dealt with by the respective courts before they delve into the merits, you know, of, of, of the disputes that both teams have, have referred to the courts. Let, let, let me let me just tap into your brains a little bit from a hypothetical uh, perspective. Let's say it has been joined, it has been consolidated. We have uh, three judges sitting looking at the matter. One matter they want to to confirm that we are the winners. They must make, make a determination. The yeah. other matter uh, they must. Dispute. Set it aside. Set it aside. Mm. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I, it's going to be very difficult for the presiding officers. 
how are they going to navigate? But as no, a, no, I think as a joint, it will be easy. They will take yeah. a particular position. As a joint. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Now let me allow you advocate to elaborate as we are elaborating it. I just wanted it to be clear to the viewers so that they understand that it's a legal jargon and also a sport, a sport jargon. You see, here's the issue, ne? Yeah. yeah. If you look at clause 24.3, and this clause is very important for the purpose of our discussions this morning. Mm. It reads as follows. It says an appeal against an order of the disciplinary committee or the dispute resolution chamber mm. will not suspend the operation of that order pending the finalization of any appeal or, or arbitration in respect of that order. What that means is if there's an appeal that is pending and uh, Sikukuni have been awarded three points and uh, Polokwani have been docked three points and another team has been promoted, that has to be the situation. The fact that there's an appeal does not suspend the operation of the award. So what that means is that the PSL by now should have put into effect the operation of that particular PSL committee award. Mm -hmm. The fact that it is still pending, it does not suspend its operation. So they should have but declared who's the winner. Exactly. Or the winner should have not, been declared. Or to which exactly. they have not done it. It has not been done. And that is contrary to clause 24.3 mm -hmm. of their own handbook, you know, because that's basically what it's saying. It can only be suspended by application by the other party to say per perhaps maybe in respect of this dispute where they request the part the court to make an order suspending the operation mm. of that award that has been made by the tribunal it cannot be suspended willy-nilly mm. mm. uh, by the PSL the PSL is barred from doing so mm. by the 24.3 mm. uh, in the handbook mm. Okay, continue advocate. Yeah, I think that wraps it up. But this, basically, this situation is a conundrum because mm. um, there's also another party, uh, uh, the team that has to be promoted. You know, mm. um, uh, it is also a party that is affected here. You know, so when both these disputes are being dealt with, that party also has to be joined to the proceedings because. Any decision or order that is made by the court is going to affect them. So they are an interested party. They have material interest in this dispute because whatever decision that is made affects them. You know, so that's another conundrum in respect of uh, this particular issue. Mm. Yo, Jackie, you said uh, there, was, there was a suspicion that somebody has because. Is it Pulukwane City that, no, we never uh, complained, but... That was Sikukuni. Uh, uh, yes, that was Sikukuni. Yeah. Tell yes. us, where is that, as far as your Scorpion is going? What are they saying? What's the story? It came out that both Sikukuni and, and, and Pulukwane, they eventually lodged the papers, uh, court, court papers, as the advocates just explained now. It so is definitely before, those Just before they lodged to court, uh, the matter before it went to court, what made, what, what pushed the PSL to take a position? It was alleged that somebody has done it out yes. of it. So that's the story that I wanted to find out. Those pay, yeah, that story, it, it, it emerged that there were papers that were served to the court about PS, that PSL were served with court papers. Mm. And then Looking at those papers, the PSL decided that they are not continuing with the with the awarding of uh, of the trophy until this matter is sorted out. And then the following day, it came out Kukunsi Kukune saying that they didn't serve any papers. They don't know who served the papers. Hence, there was a suspicion that Mr. Sinkiminisi might be the one who has done that or something like that. But there was no proof that it's him or anything. And then all of a sudden, both teams. They've lost papers to the court. That was an allegation. That was an allegation, yes. All right, all right, all right. But it's now, fine. Uh, advocate, we... I don't know, yeah. Advocate, yeah. No. Uh, thank you very much for the explanation. 
I've got one, one question. You spoke about uh, inter interested parties. I've, I've looked into the decision of uh, uh, Ajax Cape Town and Dindoro, and it was saying versus all the teams that were listed, all teams in the PSL as interested parties. Is it the very same statement that you just mentioned now, or what, what could have been the cause of that? Yeah, look, uh, if, uh, if I may give an example, in respect of uh, the Ndorometa uh, at, at, at Ajax, uh, the ultimate decision that transpired there was that the, the, the Ajax ended up being relegated, you know, yes. as pursuant to that particular decision. Now, in this case, although I have not uh, been able to check whether the bottom teams are affected by this whole issue, but there's a likelihood that there might be a team that gets relegated as a result of this conundrum, you know? Or there's, there's a team that is likely to be promoted by default, or a team that deserves to be promoted, but they, but, but they don't get promoted, you know? So if there are such teams, those teams are affected by the decision, you know? Those teams have to be joined to the proceedings because they are interested parties and they have material interest in the dispute. So if, if it means that you cite all the teams in Glad Africa, if they are affected one way or the other, maybe one team had to be, you know, in the top eight or they had to be runners up. I mean, if they have to be, they should be. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. I'm sorry, uh, the, my battery is dying. Uh, no, I that's know, fine. I see that I went off screen a little bit. I'm sorry about that. No, but it's fine. I think we are almost done. Just wrap it up, uh, advocate, before you leave. Wrap it up for us so that we understand uh, where we are now and what are we are. So are they going to, or we are still going to wait for the court or uh, Safa, is it going to continue? What's going to happen? Just wrap it up for us. Yeah, you see, and that's what you can't predict because um, you don't know what, what is likely to happen. Um, remember, the PSL are also supporting the, 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 the application that was made by Polokwane City. You know, that, that decision of the, the disciplinary tribunal should be set aside, you know. And whilst on the, on the other hand, you have Sikuku. And uh, Sikukuni, obviously, in their papers, they will cite the PSL, they will cite SAFA, where applicable. You know, they will also cite Polokwan. And uh, likewise, Polokwan will also cite Sikukuni as an interested party in the dispute. And uh, it is also likely that the team that uh, has to be promoted from this whole scenario might also be joined to the proceedings, you know, or they might join themselves to the proceedings because they are interested parties. So I think it's a matter of us of waiting and seeing uh, what is likely to transpire, you know, and whether or not uh, teams at, at the level of Glad Africa and PSL, when aggrieved by decisions that are made by the PSL or the PSL tribunal, are they, you know, is it permissible that they should approach the courts? That's to, one thing I want to say. You know, exactly. Yeah. So where, that's why where, I'm where we suffer watch. now. Yeah. That's why I'm saying we should watch the space and then um, see how the developments uh, ensue. And then we'll take it from there. I mean, if need be, if there are any further developments, we might have to reconvene and recap on those developments. But for now, I, I, one cannot predict as to what is going to transpire. For example, with the pending matter at SAFA, uh, the appeal that was lodged by the PSL, EXCO, you know, the two disputes that have been referred to the High Court. So it's a matter of waiting and seeing. And perhaps maybe you might also find that there might have to be some form of intervention from, you know, CAF, FIFA, you know. Uh, so. But watch the space. I think there's a lot that is coming in respect of this dispute. Logically speaking and legally speaking, can SAFA proceed with the matter because it's still internal and reach its own determination? 
No, look, uh, Saba empowered in terms of the handbook to deal with appeals, you know, uh, in terms of clause 24 mm. of the handbook. Uh, they are, they are, they, in fact, they are obligated to, to deal with appeals once they, once they have been lodged, you know. Uh, so, and whilst they are still dealing with that particular appeal, then you have this, you know, uh, litigation that is happening in the courts. So, Let's just watch the space and see what's going to transpire. I like the terminology that you used, obligated. It, it's yeah. A, yeah it's, they're obligated. Uh, Jackie, any news from SAFA? Or oh, we haven't heard anything. But SAFA, do they issue statements yes. and tell us what's happening? They don't issue any statement, my brother. There's nothing that is coming out of SAFA. I don't know, maybe they're afraid to contradict themselves or anything like that. There's nothing. The only statement they keep on indicating is that uh, the, 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 the DC that took place, it, the, the team, the arbitration team, it was an independent body. So therefore, the decision that was taken is legal and is binding. That is what they're saying. And Sikukune must be awarded their three points and be promoted. That's what they're saying only. Uh, advocate, having heard what uh, has just said, what's your take? Look, remember, uh, 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 remember the, the intention here is not to criticize SAFA or yeah. to criticize the PSL. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The intention is to look at the rules and yeah. whether and or not the, the rules are being exactly and whether or not the rules are being applied in the manner that they should be applied. In other words, is, is it what uh, is it worth what is, uh, is written, you know, in terms of the regulations, you know? So if a regulation empowers SAFA to deal with appeals, mm. and if appeals have been lodged, SAFA has to deal with them. Mm. And if, for example, the PSL cannot be a party to an appeal, mm. uh, and you find a situation where the PSL lodges an appeal itself, mm. you know, uh, flowing from... Uh, a decision taken by a, a, a PSL committee, constituted by itself, you know? Mm. So uh, 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 those are some of the questions that boggle the mind to say, you know, how did PSL in the first place become a party to this dispute, you know? Uh, because they cannot be involved as a party. They have to be neutral. They have to follow the rules, you know, and let the parties ventilate their disputes Mm. through the internal mechanisms that have been built in, you know, mm. uh, from within that particular sporting activity, you know. Mm. So it, 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 it complicates the matter a little bit once you find that those bodies, they are also embroiled in the entire controversy. Mm. Gentlemen, you at least enlighten us, and I hope the viewers out there, you are enlightened. So let's hear your views. Um, as I always say, you know what? It doesn't mean that we have the monopoly of wisdom. You may be clever than us, or you may know better than us. So we want your input. Make comments, and let's hear, and then we'll get educated as we go forward. Uh, advocate, I would like to thank you so much for taking time and share your knowledge with us and then i'm sure the viewers will definitely enjoy this show uh, i also got uh, a, a, a message from you know coach carlos ondo yes a long time friend of mine uh, congratulating what we are doing to say guys you may look like small guys but you are you are dealing with the real serious giants out there so keep up the good work guys uh, we are just trying to enlighten, which is quite good. Uh, enlighten, and then uh, as people go out and, and enjoy themselves as they continue to entertain themselves, it's coupled with education. It's edutainment. That's what we are doing. Thanks for coming in, Advocate. And then uh, as uh, developments come, we'll call you again. Let's wrap it up. Thank you. Thank you to the viewers as well. And have a, a very good morning. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Advocate. Thank you to the viewers. Thank you, Mr. Jabalala. Okay. Please continue to subscribe. We want to see the number continue to climb. And we can see that they are climbing. And then, uh, yeah, thank you very much.